First, I'm going to try the brightening cover powder cushion in shade number 21N, which is a medium beige. It doesn't come with a refill, but I think the content is quite a lot. I think I got tan a little bit when I went back to Indonesia last time, so the shade looks pretty pale for my current skin tone. As you can see, it looks really thick, but the coverage is really good, although it can't totally cover up my big pores, but I think it did a good job covering most of my blemishes, also it managed to cover up my uneven skin tone. However, I don't think this is suitable for oily or combination skin. It looks cakey, and when I apply it on my face, I feel like it only stay at the surface of my skin, therefore it's much easily, and it leaves fingerprints and spot when I touch my face. Provides a really high coverage and it's not matte. The finishing is slightly glowy. I bought one for a friend who has a dry skin type, so said it's good and it lasts pretty long on her face. So for you guys who have dry skin type, you can also give it a try. The next item is called Cherry Blossom Highlighting Blusher. For the application, I would suggest you to use bigger brush and starting by applying a little bit by a little bit since the color is quite pigmented so that the result is not patchy and will look more natural. As for the highlighter, as you can see, a single swipe is enough to see the glowing effect. I would suggest you to avoid using too much of it or else the result will look a little bit over the top. The next item is the eyeshadow palette. It has 12 colors and the name of the colors are all written on the plastic cover and at the back of the palette. The eyeshadow powder is fine so it falls easily but you can easily just swipe it off with a bigger brush and it won't leave any stain on your skin. While it may look like a little bit difficult to blend, but I realized that the brush plays quite a big factor in determining that. The quality of the brush will definitely affect the blending effect and the end result of the eyeshadow. For the next item, it's the lip pencil. It's available in three different colors. I'm going to try the color number one first. It's called Red Blossom. 
it's a bright red color and the application is easier compared to the normal lipstick because of the slim profile of the pencil. It stay on for a very long time, but this is the type of lipstick that stains everything you do, whether it's eating or drinking. Also, I think these colors will look nicer in full lips look instead of gradation lips because the colors are bright and vivid. It can only be totally removed when you use makeup remover to remove it. So I use remover to remove the previous color and then apply the next color. As you can see, my lips look drying, but after I applied the lipstick, it doesn't look chalky and it settles very nicely on my lips. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the short review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video.